I have a confession. So I used to have to write those articles about safety tips for women running alone. You know the ones. And then one time, eventually, I asked. I asked the experts. I was like, do you have the data, the stats, the uh, the evidence? How many of your clients have actually used the self-defense courses you sold them? And the thing was, which isn't to say it doesn't happen. Like, of course it does. And I oh, totally understand why it can be dangerous to, you know, run alone or hike or bike or be. And so you should absolutely do whatever makes you feel comfortable. Um, I have 100% flipped a U-turn, you know, in the middle of a run because there was a sketchy looking guy up ahead. But I learned that. You learned that not from running, but from being a woman in the world. Here's a list of things that women have been doing when they were attacked and killed by men. Um, sitting at home alone, walking through a park, dancing with friends, saying yes to a guy, saying no to a guy. Running is not the problem. And so you should be skeptical of anyone trying to sell you something out of fear. Even if all they're trying to sell you is a smaller version of the world where the walls around you are somehow your fault. We need to stop telling women that they need safety tips, that they should be scared of running. I wish we could write an article titled, How to Not Attack a Woman Running by Herself. And the whole thing would say, just don't. <laughs>